Hello, my name is Corey, and I will be leading you in a slow flow practice. We will be moving from the floor to a standing position and back down to the floor, and we will be flowing from one pose to the next. So at any time, you can take a rest, come to child's pose or a downward facing dog, and I'll remind you of that during the practice. So let's get started. Let's begin in a wide knee child's pose. So you open your knees, bring your toes together behind you, sit back on your heels and extend your arms out. Taking forehead to the floor. And taking your attention to your breath. Pay attention to both the inhale and the exhale. Feel your chest expand. Also feel your upper back expand as you breathe in. And the muscles along your side body contracting as you exhale. Take two more full breaths. And after your next exhale, come to your knees and hands in tabletop. So as you move into tabletop, the hands are under the shoulders, the knees come under your hips and you look toward the ground. I'm gonna turn to the side. using your lower abdominals. Now sink the belly down, look forward, open chest, take a breath in. Exhale, round the back. Push your hands through the ground. Inhale. And exhale. Move at whatever pace fits your breath pattern. So you may be going a little faster or slower than I am. The key here is that you are connecting your breath with your movement and that you are staying focused on the breath and not allowing the mind to wander. After one more full breath, come back to that neutral position. Rounding the back and exhaling. Coming to neutral so your spine is long. Now lift your right arm forward and press your left leg back. And as you're pressing that left leg, push the heel back, toes come down and your neck is still long. You're looking toward the floor. Continue breathing. Now point the toe, reach your fingers farther, and on an exhale, bring elbow and knee together, rounding the back. Inhale on the reach, exhale, round the back like you did in cat. Inhale, reach, exhale, round the back and then lower down, switching sides. Reaching that left hand forward, right leg goes back, flexed foot, looking toward the floor. Using your breath, point the toe, inhale, exhale round, inhale and reach, Exhale, inhale, exhale, and then lower down. A 
Lift up your right arm, look toward the ceiling. Aim for a straight line, hand to hand. But if your shoulder or your arm or your back are too tight and your arm's out, that's fine. Stay there. Look toward the ceiling, take a breath, and then thread the needle, taking the arm under your other arm, land on your shoulder, and then wrap left hand behind the back. And just rest your head. Let your shoulder, your head, and your knees keep you balanced. Little stretch across the front of the left shoulder. Release the hand down to the ground. Take your gaze, follow right hand to the ceiling, and then release. Hand under shoulder, other side. Inhale, reach up, reaching to ceiling. And thread the needle, coming down to the opposite shoulder. Wrapping arm around the back. Just find some ease here. After the exhale, bring the hand to the floor. Gaze goes to the left hand, reach up. And bring the hand down to the ground. Good. Let's lift up in a down dog, hands to the floor, hips come high. So at any time during your practice, you can go back to your child's pose or maybe come to your down dog. In down dog, you're looking toward the belly button, aiming to take your heels to the ground and turn the front of your elbows toward the front of the room. Let's just warm up the calves. Come high on the toes. Exhale, dropping heels down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. Again, lifting up and lowering down. From here, look forward. You might have to adjust your legs based on your torso length. Come to a high plank. So in this high plank, your core is strong. You have the option of dropping your knees for balance, for some support. Otherwise, stay up. Brace your core. Press back. Down dog. Come forward into your plank, inhale. Exhale, press back. Inhale, hands are under your shoulders. Exhale. Now this time, come forward into your plank. Come down to the floor. Hands stay to the floor. Lift up your chest. Or you can lift your hands lightly up. We're not pressing the body. We're lifting through the chest. Try to keep the neck long. This is a baby cobra. Release and come down. Return to your baby cobra. And come down. And one more time, lifting up. Shoulders down and away from the ears. Come down. Now let's move into a sphinx pose just to prep our back further. So your arms are in line with the edge of the mat. 
palms are down. You're looking forward, lifting through the chest, feeling a stretch across the upper abs, pulling the belly away from the ground. Just turn your head one direction. Maybe you drop your chin down a little. And then come up, look the other way. Drop your chin if that's what you did on the other side. Back up, looking forward, roll down. And now we're going to alternate between a cobra pose and child's pose. This time your arms are straight as you lift up. Thighs stay down on the ground. Straight, strong arms as much as you can. Move to child's pose with your knees together, legs back. Take one full breath here. Exhale. On the inhale, move into your cobra pose. Breath in. Stay, breath out, breath in, press back to child's pose. Moving forward one more time. Big breath in, hold the pose. Inhale and then on your exhale you move to child's pose. Move into a downward facing dog, lifting up, breathing in, exhaling into your pose. Let's do one more prep. So returning to that uh, high plank, we're moving through a chaturanga. So you come forward into your high push up, come down halfway, Move into an up dog so your thighs are off the ground. Downward facing dog. Let's do that again. I will modify this time. So you come forward if you're modifying, you're dropping your knees. Coming down halfway or the whole way to the floor for your baby cobra or your straight arm cobra. Moving either to child's pose or downward facing dog. One more time, roll out, come down, inhale in your open chest, exhale, down dog. Step to the front of your mat, open your feet six inches, that's two fists. Forward fold, let the back release. Now place your hands to the floor. So that might mean you need to bend your knees a lot. And bring your chest to your thighs. So connect chest to legs. And then slowly straighten the legs, bend. Straighten, bend, straighten, and continue this a few more times until you feel that you can get your legs as straight as possible without a lot of discomfort. So you're bringing the chest, keeping it glued, your head's heavy, crown of the head striving to touch the floor. And then from here, take your hands to opposite elbow. And remember, you can keep your knees very bent. Yoga is all about your practice, what you need at this particular moment. 
because what you need during tomorrow's practice might be totally different. Bring the hands down. Feet are grounded to the floor. Roll up, stand up. Inhale and reach your arms up. Bring your hands down by the side. All right, so we're gonna move. I'm going to do a sun salutation, putting a lot of those moves together. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift. Step back to your high push-up. Come to low. Up dog. And down dog. Look and step forward, feet together, toes are touching, half lift, fold, rise, fold, half lift, step back, using breath as you're moving. Move forward, half lift, fold, adding on a new move, squeezing thighs together, chair pose, powerful legs, reaching arms up, breathing in, shoulders down, on the exhale, fold, half lift, flow, Right foot steps into warrior one. So as you are stepping, your back foot goes out on an angle. Right leg, thigh comes as parallel to the floor as possible. Arms reach up. Now you are aiming to keep your hips forward. Hips are square, shoulders are down. So if you feel that your shoulders are rising, drop your arms, lock in the shoulders and then reach the arms. Warrior two, opening arms, subtle shift through the hips. Take your knee a little bit toward your pinky toe so that you begin to open the front of the hips so that you get a stretch across the pelvis. Powerful arms looking out over your index finger. Reverse the warrior, flip the arm over, look up toward the ceiling, still staying low in your leg, and then come down to the floor, framing your foot and returning to your chaturanga. High push up, low push up, up dog, down dog, and step, left leg, warrior one, land, toes are light, Legs are strong, core is engaged, and you are using breath. Open the arms, open the hips a little, taking that left knee a little bit toward the left pinky. Strong, powerful warrior. Reverse, reach up, look up, stretch of the side, hands down and flow. Move to the front, half lift, fold, come to your chair pose. I'm going to turn so face you. 
forward fold, half lift, high push up to low, up dog, down dog, right side, warrior one, step, land, inhale, reach up, open warrior two, inhale, reach for reverse, come to a side angle, your forearm touches your thigh, other arm reaches high, try not resting on the leg, so you're lifting up, extended side angle, your hand comes inside the foot, shoulder connected to the leg, other arm reaches over, look up toward that hand. Drop the hand, pivot into a low lunge, taking one hand on either side of the leg. Back leg is straight. And step to the front of the mat. Toes together, half lift, forward fold, chair pose, sweep the arms, fold, half lift, jumper step back, up dog to down dog, left side, warrior one. Step, land, hips forward, reach up, breathe in, warrior two, inhale, reverse, side angle, looking up, hand down to the floor, extended side angle. Hands down, revolve the hips, come to your low lunge, straight back leg, and step to the front, half lift, and fold, chair pose, bending the knees, reaching up. Now bring the hands to the center of the chest, revolve, twist to the right, and you're twisting from the low back, looking up over the shoulder, option to open your arms, straight arms, look to the ceiling, release, open your feet, Reach for your big toes, clasp your thumb around your fingers, press your index finger down to the ground, take a breath in, fold, now you can again bring chest to knees by bending the knees and then keeping the chest close, pushing the elbows out and back. lift, release your hand, fold, bring your feet together, chair pose, sit, reach, strong core and strong legs, hands come to prayer, twist to the left, taking your arm outside your left leg, open the arms, Release, forward fold, open the feet. Place your hand under each foot, taking the toes as close to the wrist as possible. Bend your knees, chest again to the thighs. 
You're gonna straighten the legs. Shift your weight a little bit into your hands, into the balls of the feet. Release. Bring your feet together. Half lift, fold, rise. Now adjust on your mat so that you can open your legs wide and that your feet are parallel to the edges of your mat. Roll the shoulders back and down. Bring your hands into your hips. Strong, engaged, low abs. Breath in. Forward fold. Once you're upside down, take your hands to the floor. Tighten the front of your thighs. Shift your weight forward, but your toes are light. And try to lengthen through the back and the neck. So envision your head touching the ground. But don't open your legs far enough to just place your head down. We want to develop length through the back of the legs, the hamstrings, up over the glutes, and through the back down to the base of the neck. And take a half lift. Placing left hand in the middle of the mat Look to the right, look up, and reach that right arm to the ceiling. A little bit of a spine twist in the low back. Release, hand comes down. Switch sides. Again, you're revolving through the back. Legs are still engaged. Hands come down. Let's take both hands toward the right. Turn your right toes out a little bit and shift into a lunge. And you have options here. So you can stay high or I'm going to come down, aiming to keep the heel on the floor, toes up. But any variation in between staying high and down works. So we're stretching inner thigh. Shoulders are relaxed. Hands come down, shift, turn your left foot out a little bit, move into whatever version of this side lunge you want to take. Still trying to lift through the chest. Hands down. Let's go one more time, either side. See if you can go a little bit deeper. We're not going to stay as long. I'm going to shift. Maybe this time you don't use your arms at all. You just use your core and your legs to shift. Recruits a little bit different muscles. But by all means, you can put your hands down. Come back to the center. Half lift. Reach wide for your big toes. Once again, pushing fingers down to the ground. Long spine first. Fold, take the elbows out and a little bit back. Shifting your weight forward for a big hamstring stretch. Release the toes. Clasp your hands behind your back. Lift them to the ceiling or over your head. Bring the hands down to your hips. Use your abdominals. Take a breath. Contract and rise. 
Roll the shoulders back. Moving into triangle, turn your right foot so that your toes are facing away from you in line with your legs. You might need to adjust your back leg. Foot is out on an angle. Straight front leg. Straighten the arms. And then tilt, come down, triangle pose. So for triangle, try not to collapse into your leg. So you wanna stay strong through the torso. You can take the back of your hand to your, to your leg. If you have the flexibility, you can come down to the floor, but continue to try and rotate the front of this hip toward the ground. You'll feel a big stretch in the inner thighs, and then stack your arms so that your back muscles are contracting. Look toward the ceiling. Now bend the front knee, brace your abdominals, come to warrior two. Reverse warrior, straighten the leg, lower your arm down and turn the foot. Let's do that on the other side. So again, you might have to adjust, trying to get heels somewhat in line with each other, but it doesn't have to be perfectly in line if that's not what your hip mobility allows. All right, straight arms, tilt, reaching forward, coming into your triangle pose. And again, you're still trying to dial your hip down. So this upper hip is trying to turn down. And as soon as you do that, you feel inner thigh muscles. Maybe your hamstrings fire up. Strong arms, strong back, strong breath. Now bend the knee, come to warrior two. Reverse, straighten your leg, turn your feet, lower your arms and step together. Good. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Let's do one more sun salutation version. Inhale, reach up, forward fold, half lift, high push up to low, up dog, down dog. Come out to your high plank. Come down slowly, hover over the floor, use your core, and then come the whole way down. Let's do one cobra just to reprime the back. Shoulders down. and then release. Moving into locust pose. So your toes come together, your arms go back. You have the option of keeping your hands and legs down or lifting everything up, chest, legs, and arms. You're looking out along the floor, maybe two feet from where your head is against, would be against the mat. Keep lifting up, squeezing glutes, pulling belly away from the ground, reaching the arms back and release, come down. Bend the knees, open your legs, open your knees, reach for your toes and bring them together. can't reach your feet, make sure you're holding your ankles or a pant leg. You can always use a strap or a towel. 
or you can do one leg at a time. Inhale, on the exhale, lift up, opening chest, lifting up, toes coming up. Lift your feet higher. And release and come down. Bring your hands under, push back to child's pose, knees together, wrap your arms back, hands touch the bottom of the foot. Slowly come to a standing position on your knees. Okay, we're gonna do camel pose two times. So you're tall on your legs, shoulders are down. This is like a back bend. Take your hands behind you and open the chest first. So the elbows come back. Your waist and down is going to just stay in position. You're going to continue to push your hips forward as you take the gaze up toward the ceiling. Now, if this is a new pose to you, just continue taking your head up. Keep pushing hips forward and maybe you start to bend back. Bring the chin to the chest and sit down. Just breathe. Let's do that again. Coming up. Now, if you'd like to take your hands back to your feet, try taking both hands back at the same time and continue pushing hips forward. So let's start, elbows come back. Chest open. Begin looking up. Keep taking the gaze behind you. Chin to chest. Sit back. Tuck under your toes. Let's stretch the bottom of the feet. So you might need to reach down with your toe to try to put your toes down on the floor. Trying to get a stretch on the bottom of the foot. Hopefully you can feel that. If you need a bigger stretch, you can bring your knees up off of the ground and just balance on the balls of the foot. This is plenty of a stretch for me. Keeping the upper body quiet and calm. Let's stay here for two more breaths. Back nice and tall. And release, come up. Have a seat on the floor. Extend your legs out. Bringing the toes back toward you. Tightening the front of the thighs. Just start by placing the hands down to the ground, dropping the chin a little bit so that you can look between the toes. Trying to keep the back strong, going for good posture and length. Still engaging the low abs, that area below the belly button. Continuing to breathe. 
Now, engaging, pretend there's a pole here that you're gonna fold over, reach for your toes, and then fold forward. If your hands don't reach your toes, place your hands on your shins and continue to fold down and long. I like the visual of taking the top of my head to the top of the feet. So it's long as opposed to me trying to round and take my nose to the thighs. So it's two different moves. So let's go for length here. And release, come up. Bring the soles of your feet together. Your knees go wide. Bring your feet in close to your body and then open the feet like a book so the blades of the foot feet are touching elbows are in shoulders are down do this two different versions breathe in and then fold forward and take chest down to the feet and come up. Now round the back and take the crown of the head to the feet. So big round back, pulling the belly in. And then roll back up. Release that position with your legs. Moving into seated double pigeon. So taking your right leg and placing it sideways down on the floor, so your knees kind of pointing out to the right, the bottom of your foot pointing to the left, and then take that left leg, place it on top of the knee, knee over foot, foot over knee. So this could be intense for you. Maybe your leg is up a little bit higher. Just stay with that position. Try to keep the shoulders down. We hold a lot of tension in our hips. And then from here, stay seated if this is extremely intense. And if you want a little more, begin to fold forward, coming down slowly, feeling the tension on the left side of the glutes. Using breath, being gentle with your body, especially if this is very tight. And as you're folding forward, you're still engaging your abdominals and you're still focusing on breath. You can feel the breath in the back. Slowly rise. Uncross. Down, other leg. Take the same care to set up on this side. I like to put my hands down on the floor, lift the hips a little bit to reset the pelvis. Take those breaths to settle in move into your position.
slowly come up. Good. Uncross the legs. Let's roll onto the back. Once you're down on the floor, bring your feet in close to your bottom. Hands hopefully can touch your feet or get very close. Moving into a bridge pose. Push through the feet, lift through the hips. Lift your chin a little bit so the neck doesn't compress and take your hands behind the back. Roll the chest open by tucking under the shoulders and then push through the feet. Keep lifting up the hips. And then come down. your back to the ground. Bring both knees into the chest. Roll a little bit side to side. Let's keep the right knee in, straighten the left leg. Or if you um, don't have that flexibility in the front of the hips, you can keep the leg bent. Let's reach for the foot, straighten the leg, curl your body up toward the thigh. Try not to strain the neck. So you're lifting high through the chest, then lower your upper body down. Take that leg out to the side, push the heel away from you. Open your arm and look the other way. Look to the ceiling, bring the leg up. You can always hold on to your calf, your shin. Switch your bind with the other hand. Taking the arm out and take that leg across the body. Punching against the wall. Look the other way. Bring the leg back to the ceiling. Look to the center. Bring the knee in, little squeeze. Other leg comes in. Take the right leg out. Reach for your foot, ankle, your shin. Straighten the left leg. Curl up. Lifting high. Roll down. And take the leg out to the side. Switch your grip and take the leg across the body. Big stretch in the back of the leg and in the lower back. Look to the center, lift the leg back up to the ceiling and bring both knees into the chest. Open the arms, drop both knees to the right. One more spine twist. 
option to bring the upper leg up higher or straighten the leg. Maybe that will give you more of a stretch through to the low back. And then bend the knees. Lift both legs up. Other way. Going into whatever version of the stretch you did on the other side. Bend the knees. Lift them both to the ceiling. Take the feet toward the ceiling. Reach for the outside parts of your feet for happy baby. Pull your knees toward your shoulder, your armpits, and just move side to side, sway. Let the spine release toward the ground. And then come to the center. Bring the knees into the chest one more time. And move to Shavasana. Extend your legs. Open the arms, palms up, shoulders down. And just sink into the mat. Close your eyes. Keep your body still and your mind present. So during your Shavasana, you can focus on your breath or focus on the space you are in. Focus on your body. So maybe you're paying attention to the speed of your breath, counting how long it takes to complete an inhale and an exhale. You're paying attention to the space. You're noticing the temperature in the room, the sounds or the silence. how your body is feeling, how it feels touching the mat, how it feels to just be still. So let's remain in Shavasana for five more full breaths. to wiggle fingers and toes. Gently turn your head side to side. Bring the knees into the chest and roll to the right side. And then come up to a seated position. Whatever comfortable position works for you, just cross your legs. Relax the shoulders. Let's inhale, reach your arms high. 
And then bring your hands down to prayer. Thank you for joining me in practice. I wish you well. And I hope to see you again in the near future, whether that be in person or virtually. Have a beautiful day and a beautiful week. Namaste.